Welcome back to the channel. Today we got an awesome project. Check this out. We got all the blow-in cellulose, cellulose insulation for the attic to fill half the house. So we're working on kind of half right now. We're gonna do it in two chunks. Insulate half that's finished right now. And then after we do the kitchen bathroom, we'll do the rest. This is an in-between project. So if you notice that the sheathing still doesn't have house wrap on it or doesn't have house wrap on it, that's because we're in between projects right now because we don't know when this video is going to come out. So it'll probably come out after the house wrap video. Yeah, so it's a little out of order, but we're getting the job done. We didn't take the house wrap down or anything like that. <laughs> so this is really exciting to get to this point just in time before it gets too cold. It's not a lot we can show you today because I'm going to be in the attic blowing the insulation, but Ashley's going to be outside loading the machine. Um, we'll try to get what we can. Yeah. So we're going to get set up to start working and we'll take it along. This is a long piece of uh, two by 12 that we had in our barn when we moved in. And I'm going to try to shove it up through that hole and use it as a platform because our attic is really cramped and I'm going to be laying down to kind of spray the, the blow the insulation in so I think I can fit this on the ceiling trusses and lay on this it'll make it a lot more comfortable and easy to move around um there's trees in my way that might be an issue let's see what I can do That'll be my work platform in the attic. Have Much better than laying on like spaced apart joists. Yeah. I just want to see how long this is to see where we have to have the machine to reach. I think it'll actually reach us. Are you sure? It looks so short. So we don't have enough hose to reach adequately to where we need to get. Um, so we're going to be bringing the machine in the house, which means all the insulation comes in the house. Okay. Do you want to chuck these in when it gets low? Even? Where are we doing it? Just, Just in. Okay. Here, I'll hand them to you. Okay. All right, I think we're all set up. We got the machine in here. We got a box fan blowing some fresh air into the room. All the insulation piled up. We're all ready. I got a work light to drag up in the attic with me. We're gonna try to make this happen. I know it's gonna get crazy dusty in here and we would prefer to do it outside, but they only give us 50 feet of hose and we got to make it all the way down to the end of the house and into the deep recesses of the roof. They should have given us 100 feet, but yeah. we only got half that. Right. So hopefully it doesn't get too bad and we'll just make it happen.
All right, so I got to get this board all the way down to the back. I'm almost there. Good thing this is long. Oh, stuck. That should be good. All right, I've made it down to the end of the house and this is what we're working with. You can see I have a board to rest on and that's nice. Look at this. And somehow I'm gonna have to get the hose all the way back there into those deep angles. So hopefully this goes smoothly. And as you can see, I don't have a whole lot of room to move. I'm laying down flat right now. And, you know, the roof's right above me. We'll, we'll do what we can. Okay guys, moment of truth. I'm stuck up here and Ashley's about to start the machine. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, we've only blown in insulation once before. It went pretty good, but never in these cramped quarters. So I'm hoping that it just goes smoothly and we don't struggle too much. Here it goes. We will be getting rid of those vents, but for now we just have to fill this up. Alright guys, that's about all I'm going to be able to show you. Well, this is going good, but the hose popped off, so Ashley's fixing that. It is really hard to see how much I'm getting in these back uh, angles when this uh, is going, because it's so dusty. So I'm just trying to go by feel. I hope I'm not putting too much back there, but we'll see.
Well guys, it looks like we just ran out. Here's the progress. It is looking pretty good. Um, making it as thick as I can, reasonably. And it's sloping down here because we still got to gut the ceiling over there. So I didn't want to pile it up too close. We still got a little ways to go this way. And uh, yeah, making progress. Well, that's all we can do today because that's all the insulation we bought. I wanted to make it a little bit further, but it went pretty close, I guess, to where it should have. Mm -hmm. We wanted to do this in halves so it, because we only have so much space on our trailer anyway. So we'll get another load some other day after we're done sealing up the kitchen ceiling and we'll do that part. And then yeah. we'll be ready for winter. So this is a dusty job, but it's not very bad. It's not like the fiberglass. It's not itchy at all. It's actually a paper-based insulation. It's just kind of like shredded paper. So I think there was some plastic in it too. There was. There was chunks of trash in there. But overall, the job was pretty easy. It was just laying up there and blowing it in. So we're going to go clean up now, and then we'll see what else we can get done. You want to just put it on the trailer? Mm-hmm. Watch out for the post. That wasn't too bad. So we got the uh, blower loaded up on the trailer, ready to go. We're gonna be going back to the store probably tonight to get some more stuff and bring that back. But speaking of getting stuff, we're gonna give you guys a sneak peek of something we started getting today. These are gonna be our new floor tiles that we're putting in our bathroom our hallway, and our kitchen. It's gonna be all tile, it's gonna be really cool. And the entryway. And you can see these are kind of like a marble look, porcelain tile, really cool. Really pretty, really white, we love it. Made in USA, that's cool. So I know we're still a mess, we're gonna get cleaned up, but we just wanted to share those tiles with you since we were just unloading them from the car. We don't normally show anything before we do it, we always like surprises, but we thought we'd give you guys a sneak peek. And one more reveal before we go, check this out. We've had a lot of questions lately about where do we put all of our trash? Where's all the demolition junk that we're pulling out of our house? It's right here in our yard. And it doesn't look very good, but we're trying to keep it organized. Our plan is to stack it up until we're ready to get a dumpster because dumpster rental is only two weeks. So we still have some things to do in the bathroom and then the siding, the rest of the siding, and then we're getting a dumpster. Yeah, but we want that to be our last dumpster, so we just yeah. want it all ready. All at once. So we got most of the uh, siding and ceilings and all that over here. This is all insulation, appliances. Um, the stove was junk, everything's junk. So don't get mad at us for throwing those out. They're it junk. It wasn't worth saving or donating mm -hmm. or anything. And we got a pile of metal back there for scrap. The appliances will go with that. So that's it. No secrets. We just have a pile of junk. <laughs> we do save what we can. There's actually a bunch of wall paneling and boards and trim and all kinds of stuff that we put in the barn. That's where we put the stuff that we're keeping out of the house. Everything that's not worth keeping we put out here or if it's just not going to be affected by the weather. We're hoping that before the snow falls that maybe we can get that. It depends on what happens. We actually are going to be trying to push for the bathroom remodel and I don't know how the siding is going to go. So if we can get it this year, we'll get it. If not, spring. Yep. Okay. And that can sit out here for until then. Yeah. It's not pretty, but it's not hurting anything. Yeah. With that said, I guess we're going to end it here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll have another one soon. So until next time, take care. Bye.